Hey there and welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the alien campaign. We've got level one, which is the, um, the temple right here. Now, shockingly, this managed to beat out the predator campaign. And I was really expecting the predator campaign to win, but you know what? You guys voted for this. So this is what you're going to get. And if you didn't vote, strap in because you're going to watch it anyway. Um, as you noticed, and as I've said before, in my Marine campaign, I never beat this one fully through, uh, the last playthrough. Um, I have beat it before. We're talking about, like, way back in 2003 on my dad's PC. But that's been, like, almost 20 years, so this is going to be interesting getting back into this. Uh, we're going to go back into Realistic Mode, uh, Temple of Origin, Unknown, Phase 2 of the U.S. CM Investigation in Progress, Lower Levels of Artifact Secured. This is dope. One of my favorite intros. Alright, let's cause some mayhem. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this right here. Um, Alright, let's make sure and hope that my controls are not too... Uh, messy. Hopefully I didn't mess them up too much last time I uh, played this. Back and forth, left and right. Oh, I, I love that camera sway movement thing. That's cool. Um, let's see. Consider alien vision. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but the random swiping just makes me laugh. And then you hit right mouse, and you've got your whip, whip, and you hold it down. Whip again, and you can do a head bite, but you gotta uh, sneak up on the people and uh, get them. Um, we'll take a look at the walls real quick. Uh, I love the level design of this game. Uh, that's one thing I really appreciate of this game. It does better than the, uh, the AVP uh, 2010 game. I've never played AVP 2, by the way, if you are curious about that one. Um, uh, Temple of Origin, I'm assuming the Predators built this. Um, it was probably an area to keep the Xenomorphs, so... Let's uh, move around and kind of explore our surroundings a little bit. What's down here? I think this is supposed to be like a giant face hugger, like it looks like. Like the little tube that goes in your throat, which I know is very, um, a bit much and kind of descriptive. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Oh, crawl um, up the wall. Alright, let's go. Whoa. Ah, I gotta get used to being a xenomorph here. Oh, can you imagine this game in, in uh, VR mode? Oh my god, this would be something something else. I'd be puking. <laughs> Alright. Uh, here, here. Down here. Whee! Okay. In we go. Get that. Yeah. Up. Up. Okay. I love the, I dig the fisheye view in this right here. It really hits home uh, the experience and the perspective of playing as a xenomorph. Um... I think the more I think about it, I think there's been two movies that have what you play through as a... I mean, no. Uh, two movies that what you see from the point of view of a xenomorph, I should say. Um, Alien 3 and Alien Covenant, which um, um, obviously... Oh, no, no, no. Slow down. Okay. Uh, Alien 3. I like that movie. That's a movie I fight for. Um, then for that, you have um, Alien Covenant, which visually which was interesting. Um, I like David in the movie. Uh, actually, I did a full review on that movie. Um, but overall, though, it's just not an interesting movie, and I tend to forget about the fact that it had, like, a Xenomorph Vision type thing in the movie. Destroy the supports. Okay. Um, let's go right up here. There we go, knock that down. And, boy, so this is where it gets a little... Hold on. Where am I? This is where this gets a little annoying right here. I'm playing as a Xenomorph because you really gotta pay attention to everything on... It's not like the Marine one, where you just gotta look for doors. Like, you literally on this gotta look for every opening, whether it's on the walls, or the, uh, the, ce uh, the ceiling, ground, whatsoever. I think I went, I'm going the wrong way. I'll figure it out, I just... Oh, hold on, up, up here. I didn't come from here, did I? Okay. Oh, I love this. I don't know why, but this game intrigues me so much, seeing the, uh, outer space, just from the point of view of it as a xenomorph. And, and, and it looks so... It looks so, uh, Star, War, Star Wars, like, 1970s Star Wars, what it makes me think of. Um, any 70s sci-fi movie. Just everything's all boxy, okay. I think that... Did I miss it? Hold on a second. I had that little... 
no. Um, there was that one opening. I'm pretty sure that I cut that off. Here, here. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's save real quick. Because I know I'm getting close to the people. And any shotgun, point blank, will just take you out as a xenomorph. So, I mean, you gotta rely more off stealth. And... Part of me regrets not looking around more up there. There's probably nothing up there. Alright, drop right in. Oh, he never knew. He never knew. Now, there was a predator here. Oh, what the... Okay. I see you. I see what you got there. It's not gonna work! <laughs> you and your bad aim. Okay. Um... Okay, now, I know some, I heard, overheard him say something about the labs are in the lock, but my memory is already coming back. That I know... Whoa. Freak out mode. Okay. Okay. Let's go... Here. Hey there. <laughs> this person's like, there's something out there. I, I really want to get a head by then. There's one. Okay. I need to knock all those things out. <laughs> Alright. More people? People? People for me? Whoa! Okay, that was a close one. I don't know if he did that or if I hit something and just managed to escape. Okay, we're not going to quite go to the laboratories quite yet because... Um, yeah, there we go. I know that this will take me to the other side, and I'm, I'm certain, based off memory, there are sentry guns um, on the other side, on the, uh, the north side, so we're going to go ahead and get around uh, those. And if you guys are curious, I'm going to do the Alien Predator 2010. It won't be the next one, but eventually it's going to happen. I already hear sentry gun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I love the sound effects. <laughs> Sorry. Coughing up, okay. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> Excuse me. The sound effects, uh, they kill me in this game right here. Um, the, just the mutilating people. Alright. Stop that. Alright. Um, let's see, okay, we are... Hold on, let's see, which, which one... Where do we need to go right here? Okay, it's, it's uh, over here. Okay, so we're going to take the, a right turn up here. Yes, the, um, the AVP 2010 game I will play. Um, my thing is about that game is it's a fun game. Um, it absolutely is. Oops. Hold on. Okay, it's a fun game. Um, it does have more of a storyline versus this one, which really doesn't have much of a storyline. Like, you're just causing mayhem the entire playthrough. But the... Uh, wait. The interesting thing about... Uh, or the actual downfall of that game, I should say is the sheer fact that um, because the fact that the storylines interconnect and each thing you do as a species will impact another campaign, uh, you will literally be replaying the same levels. And to me, that's kind of a negative because uh, once you place through certain areas as a predator, you play through them again as um, uh, a, mar a marine xenomorph, and it just is less interesting than uh, this game. All right, stay still. Stay still. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, that was on me, I think. You have to time things right. Um, let's not forget to hit this. I must have missed... Okay, um, maybe there's one back there. Okay, okay where is that thing? Hello. Alright. So, did I get the one on the other side? Or did I just space it? Okay, I got that. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Wow. I dropped in and just did not destroy it. I got so distracted by people. Killing people. Xenomorph gonna xenomorph. Alright, it feels great to play as a xenomorph and to just be the one messing everybody up because. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I guess I'm tired of getting jumped by xenomorphs uh, in the marine campaign, so now it's my turn to torment uh, people. So let's just destroy everything in here. Let's see what's in here. What does this do? I don't think that needs to be open. That doesn't seem to be vital to uh, uh, the mission. Um, oh, hey. Okay, let's try to get a head bite in. Hello. <laughs> you thought you were going to go free? Okay. Oh, come on. Okay. I got to slow down and probably get a little closer. Let's try another door. Let's try another door. There's got to be a, a person in here somewhere. Oh, that's that one I was at. 
Here we go. Alright, let's try to get this right. Hopefully, please. I really want to get head by them. Say so, say so. I got no sympathy. I just showed up just to bite him like a dickhead. That's a xenomorph thing. Xenomorphs just do whatever. Okay, I'm done here. I'm pretty certain. I don't think there's anything. Um, if I have to knock out those other switches, I'll just come back. No unauthorized personnel. Tell me what to do. I'm a xenomorph. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We got some synthetics. Destroy this. We're gonna give that one dude on the TV an uh, extremely bad day at the office. Flat left access. Okay. Platform access. Okay. Oh, people should be showing up. Listen. <laughs> you see that they're standing on each other. Um, mess everybody up. Okay. I'm, as a person, I'm not much of a people person going into Walmart or a Target even so. As a xenomorph, I'm even less of a people person. So, people gotta die here. <laughs> what the hell is going down down there? Xenomorph shit is happening. Hey, whoa, whoa, stay away. That was not your wisest decision. I'm gonna body you. Okay, down. This dude. I'm having too much fun playing as a xenomorph here. Probably more than I'm allowed to. Man, I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> I, shooting caught me off guard too. I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna get you. Okay, I gotta seal these off of here. Probably another one on the other side. Yes, there is again. Okay. Come on, okay. Where is that person? What the? I jumped too early. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't lose much health. We're in here. Two people. We're going in. Almost uh, there. I think we're almost there. There's, there's not much to this level. I know there isn't. Let's get a little bit more health just in case I run into somebody. Doesn't seem to be working. Okay, here we go. Get that health back up. Okay. Off to the races. Mm. Try to get you slug. All right, let's try this again now. I ran in a little bit too fast. Um, I'm probably still going to do that anyway, but um, let's let this close on up completely so we have this one closed off that side right there. And... Oh, oh, did I get it? Okay, temple seal. Okay, I did. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we're done here. Um, at least in here. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Scale the walls, anything? This does not look important. It does look interesting, though, however. I better get out here before... Oh, here we go. All right, this should run us back home. I hope we do not run into any casual marines or just. Ch I don't know. I don't know why there would be a marine down here, but I'm hoping that I do not run into that. Um, as far as I know, I think we're homebound at this point, and I absolutely am digging this right here. What have we got there? Oh, oh, the xenomorph statue. I forgot about that. Yeah. So that's right. See, um, I'll find the tunnel down to our lair. Okay. Um, so I know in the marine one, uh, the bonus level, I know you, I think it's the first one, you play at this level. All the bonus levels are is they're just, um, you're just playing other levels of other species. I want to see if I can get on that xenomorph's head real quick, just randomly. Hey, we did it. <laughs> okay, let's get off. All right. Let's see, it should be right here. Turn, yes, okay, now it's, it's all coming back. Right here, it's all very memorable to me. And it should just be straight shots. I'm just a xenomorph running into, into the wall. And we're home. Okay, that was fun right there. I think I, I did the best too. Ten minutes. Uh, we are just were one marine short of my last playthrough. I um, killed 13. And let's see, four androids, which I think that's all there is on the level, honestly. Uh, civilians. Uh, we did, we're, a little, we're actually pretty decently shy. Um... That's it for Xenomorph uh, number one. All you're going to do is be causing mayhem. You know, in the last one, you, you just needed to get the hell out. Uh, for Xenomorph one, you just cause mayhem and make everybody's life miserable. So, join me for episode two, and thank you for watching. Peace.